It might look like Jeff Bailey is panning for gold, but what he's looking for is actually far more valuable when it comes to determining the stream's health. Benthic macroinvertebrates, or as they're more commonly known, bugs. A lot of people will recognize the names mayflies, stoneflies, caddisflies, midges, crayfish. Those are all the organisms that live on the bottom of the stream. Where they are uh, relocated to living solely in the stream, uh, then they do not have the ability to get out of uh, water quality issues. Therefore, any uh, water quality uh, variations that occur will uh, cause an impact on the benthic macroinvertebrate population. And then based on what we see as far as uh, numbers, diversity, that can help us give an idea as to what the water quality is like throughout the course of an entire year or multiple past years. Jeff Bailey and Nick Murray are part of the DEP's watershed assessment branch. They, along with the rest of the team, are surveying this small tributary in the Cabin Creek watershed. The team checks water chemistry and physical habitat of the stream, looking at fish and insect populations, and checking for things like pH, conductivity, sediment, and dissolved oxygen levels. They're looking for problems upstream that could affect water quality downstream. At all these small-headed water streams cumulatively make up what's going on downstream in the bigger stream. So if you're, if you have a lot of problems in your headwater streams, you're going to have problems downstream in, in the bigger rivers and streams that most people recognize as being uh, a river that they can fish in or swim in or, or get water from or something like that. So it's real important to, to have good water quality from the start. The team spends most of its time in the field from early spring through mid-fall, gathering samples for analysis back at the lab. What they learn goes into a growing database of information that helps scientists track overall watershed health from year to year. We can look at different watersheds throughout the state and expect to see different uh, invertebrate populations. And we get to a site, if we don't find such populations, then we can usually tie that back to some form of habitat disturbance or water quality related disturbance. And if a stream isn't meeting water quality standards, a cleanup plan called the Total Maximum Daily Load, or TMDL, is developed. The TMDL plan identifies the source of the pollution and develops a strategy for containing, reducing, or eliminating it. Along the Upper Canal watershed, I'm Mike Huff for Environment Matters.